driving into Zamba and we're going to Zamba Central Hospital. Okay. Zamba is one of the first places, one of the four central hospitals in Malawi where we started the rollout of CPAP beyond the Queen Elizabeth Central Hospital. I am Indira Shikomone. And today we're going to go visit the neonatal ward and see how things are going with CPAP. We're going to visit with Indira, who is the CPAP coordinator on site. CPAP is an abbreviation for continuous positive airway pressure. So CPAP, it helps the baby to breathe by opening the lungs for air to pass through easily. I am measuring the room right now so that we can have a base plan to work off of. What I've done so far is draw what's existing and I usually create a code. It's rather crowded so um, I'll be working to improve that. I am a student at the Rice School of Architecture but I'm also really interested in healthcare as well as the environment. I was really looking for something this summer that could make an impact that would combine those interests. When I first step into a new neonatal ward, I'm just looking all around, my eyes are kind of darting and I'm seeing how many babies there are, how many healthcare workers there are, and just seeing the faces first and then you start to look at the equipment that each of those people is on or is using and then I really just am inspired to draw. Once I sort of process that space and the arrangement presently, then I go back and create several iterations of what that space could be, how we could improve efficiency of care and the number of babies that are able to be served in this single space, or the possibility of an expansion. You could do anything you dream of at Rice. Originally I came in knowing I wanted to do the poverty, justice, and human capabilities minor because I really have a heart for that. And then during O Week, there was a presentation on global health technologies and Dr. Richard Scordum, she was showing a video about the program and then right away I knew, oh, I really want to find more about this. In addition to global health technologies and poverty, justice, and human capabilities, I've actually also found the passion to pursue water and energy sustainability at Rice and just explore all of these different facets of sustainability and service that complement architecture. Unconventional wisdom is Rice, you know, no limits to what you can do.